guys, thanks for checking in. We're here at the Toronto Imprint Show. We have Ryan Quinn, and we're here to unveil one of our newest products, um, the Helix One with Ink Cups. Ryan, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, do you mind chatting a little bit about uh, you know what you do for the company, a little bit about the history of Ink Cups, where you guys started, yep. where you are now, and where you're going to be jumping into the future? Sure. Um, so my role is international sales. I'm uh, helping to build out a strategic uh, partner network throughout you know, good locations around the world. Canada is very uh, high up on our priority list. We think it's a really nice market for our equipment. Um, as far as Ink Cups, we were founded in 2001. We started in the pad printing industry. Um, we've since branched out to three different market segments. So we have, we have uh, pad printing and then industrial digital printers, mostly for flat beds. And most recently, the most exciting market is uh, digital, digital drinkware or cylindrical printers. Awesome. Um, we've been doing this for about eight years. Our flagship machine is the Helix. We're up to six different rotary printers right now. Wow. And we just launched the Helix One last year, which we're super excited about. This is uh, our, our entry level machine, brings the price point way down. It's a little bit slower, but it gives you a whole different market segment to grow into. Definitely. Now, uh, this unit, uh, I don't know if you guys have been following the Instagram feed. We've got a really cool concept going on. As you guys know, we're doing our $40,000 screen print giveaway. Um, and basically, we're taking cups, we're printing it live, which we'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, from there, as you're enjoying your popcorn, you vote on the, show, the shirt. People are really surprised as to how quick uh, we're able to bang out these cups. Uh, on average, what are you looking for, looking at per uh, per print? I know it depends on the shape and, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, depends on your artwork and the print settings, um, but roughly one per minute. Awesome, awesome. So 60 units an hour, not bad for um, you know a desktop model at this price point. You do have other ones, think. obviously, like the Helix that are much higher volume. Yep. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean one a minute, it's, it's pretty good. And I've I've seen how quick it is. I mean it's it's literally seconds to swap out the next one. So it's not an, an elaborate system to to load the next job, which is exciting. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you have the ability to do like boss and raised obviously because it's UV. Yep. Awesome. Uh, some really cool features. If you print varnish only or varnish on top of color, it gives you that like uh, embossed feel and really, the market's really uh, accepted it and been excited about Definitely. it. Definitely. And I mean it's machine washable. So every substrate is going to be a little bit different. Sure. Some require different pretreatments and uh, you know we're putting on the, the disposable plastic giveaway cups here. That doesn't need any pretreatment at all. Yeah, no primer at all. Pretreat right. primer term is interchangeable, I guess. Um, Pretreat encompasses a lot of different options, including flame, um, sometimes corona, plasma, but the Got primer it. is the, the simplest solution to go. Okay, very cool. Um, now, you're not limited to this shape here, obviously. Um, so to my understanding, depending on the style of um, cup or, or cylindrical object that you're doing, you basically have different jigs that are made? Yep, that's okay. right. Cool. And you um, guys work on those for us or our clients? So we can make them directly ourselves or you can make them locally here. Awesome. Very yep. cool. Very uh, cool. Yeah, you can you can print on all different shapes and sizes. Yep. Uh, yeah. You know, up to about a wine bottle and uh, the diameter is, 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 you know, like a shot glass up to uh, a growler. Very cool. And the, uh, the ink set, how many colors are this one? So it's six colors. You okay. have your white, C, M, Y, K, and clear. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, anything else you want to touch on the machine? Uh, we think this, you know, the Canadian market's going to be wide open, and, and I think you guys are going to be very successful here. For sure. And listen, at the end of the day, it's not a cheap machine. Um, you know, for example, we were able to lease it at seventeen ninety nine a month. But when you look at the output of this, I mean, if you guys are importing these cups and you're charging, let's say, four dollars a print, you know, at sixty units an hour, it's two hundred forty bucks an hour that that machine's running. 240 bucks an hour, you know, eight hour day, you know, two or three days of printing, you made your lease payment. So there is a little bit of a sticker shock when some people see this product line. Um, you know, some people come in and they expect that this machine is going to be five or six thousand dollars. I mean, <laughs> definitely doesn't look like it's five or six grand. But um, yeah, I mean, once you get over the, you know, the the, the price of the unit, um, but you see the output and the capabilities, it's. Uh, I mean, there's really no other technology like this. I mean, you, you can use, for example, our Mamaki flatbed. Um, you know with the cabal but that is slow um, obviously you're not going to get these types of speeds um, and we also have the uv dtf technology but you're never going to get that beautiful full wrap either if you just need to write you know ink cups at the front yeah that's an option uh, but it won't have the washability either so yeah so traditionally um you know the the regular way to print was uh silk screen yeah um, then it's kind of moved into sublimation yeah and this is the next generation definitely definitely cool yeah it's got a really cool hand fill super super vibrant um, people are loving them. 
Everyone's asking where they can get them made. So whoever buys the first unit, you're gonna have a lot of business. We've been taking some names. Um, but yeah, we're very excited to, uh, to represent you guys here in Canada. We think it's a really cool product and we definitely think that uh, the Canadian market's primed and ready for this type of equipment. Absolutely. So, hey, Can't I appreciate it. Thank you very much for Thank coming in. And uh, yeah, let's have a good rest of the show. Sounds good.